to start. Once early August rolls around for me, it's time for a break. By now, my freezes are packed with bluegill and crappie, and bass tournaments are starting to wane down a bit. It's time for fast action, vicious bites, and an incredible fight. It's white bass time. After many hours of experimenting with a trolling approach using a kayak, I now feel I've perfected this method enough to share with y'all. Please enjoy. Oh, man. Almost. That one got it. Ah, oh, that one almost. There he is. I was say he was on there. There we go. That feels like one of them whites. Most definitely. Yeah, that's exactly what we're after. Man, those things fight so hard. It's incredible. They're so vicious. You got to love that. If you don't, you're not human. The way they take the pole almost out. Oh no, what a fish that was. Oh man, that was a big one. Oh man, that's brutal. Simply brutal. Yeah, that pole bent over in half. Got that one though. That may, I can't tell if that's a yellow or white. He's running the boat. That's a white, gotta be. Yeah. All right. Wish I got that one right before that though. Man, as hard as he hit. Meanest fish in the lake right there, man. Absolute meanest fish there is. Now, especially in the summer months, summer all the way up through fall, these shad are constantly getting pushed up on these points. The main current, the main channel runs out here and this is the closest bank to the main channel. And therefore them white bass, they spend about 90% of their time out in the main lake area. But whenever they go to push these shad in and they come up here to hit, it's just vicious. There's hundreds in each school. And if you go through them at the right time, I've got three jigs on right now and it's very possible to have three fish on at once one thing to always remember when you're going with the waves is that you're going much much faster than you realize you can use that to your advantage it could be used it could go work against you because you may be lifting your bait way too far up off the bottom it just depends these white bass will feed all the way from just off the bottom to all the way to the surface so it's you they're usually not too particular because there's just hundreds of them in a school feeding off these shad and some are going for them up at the top and then some are waiting for them down there at the bottom whenever the ones at the top do get hit and injured oh yeah there we go ran over my line that's a good one there Big one right there. Nice. Beautiful fish. Great strike too.
There was another one. Oh, come here, big boy. Yeah. Oh, they come off. Perfect. Didn't have to get fend again. Whoa, man. Come here. So angry. What did I ever do to you? I took you in the mouth. <laughs> oh gosh, I can't even get that one put up. This is terrible. Terrible problem to have. Catching fish, can't release fish. Oh. <laughs> this is how you do it right here. Well, these two are almost twins. Oh, we may as well take a second to discuss exactly what we're fishing now after that. We are using the three inch Shelton Lures Curly Tail with the eighth ounce googly eye with the sickle hook for those strong hookups. And on the top, I'm using the uh, blue metal, I'm sorry, it's the blue pearl with the yellow head and the 16th ounce. The difference between the 16th ounce is they have stick on eyes and these have the googly eyes. They come in all sorts of different colors. I just kind of let the fish tell me what they want. And truthfully today, lime glitter seems to have outproduced the blue pearl, but not by much. It's, of course, I've only got one jig on this one, but there's the white jig head. And these jig heads are 100% paint chip free. They do not chip. They're double cured to ensure that they don't chip. If you can't tell by now, these fish absolutely love them. One thing you will notice is most of the yellow bass actually come down from on the bottom. I catch most of them up shallow and on the bottom. The white bass themselves come more toward the top. So I've been reeling up trying to keep my baits up high, just like this one was. That may have two on it, I can't tell. Nah, I think it's just one. Just one really angry one. Oh no, it's Channel Cat. Well, that's not something I was expecting. Oh, Mr. Whiskers decided to come and play. Now some of these are actually gonna be yellow bass as well. The small yellow bass will have to hook themselves. They're not gonna be as aggressive because they're just not as big. A white bass or a striper on the other hand, this feels like, oh, it was a big white. I don't know if you saw it out there or not. That was a big, big white. That may have been a hybrid. Oh man. That's a tough pill to swallow right there. As you can see on this one, he's really bopping it. He's trying, he's chasing after it and he's snapping at it and he's snapping at it. Eventually he's gonna get that big hook. He got it that time. He's not fighting like, yeah, he's one of them yellows. <laughs> Sometimes you'll catch those too. These things are absolutely delicious, guys. People don't realize how good these are to eat. My grandfather and I have found ways to fry these up and he just snagged himself, that's all he did. 
but people throw them away. They can, some of them consider them trash fish, but they're really, really not trash fish at all. They are actually very tasty. They fry up just like a bluegill or a crappie, and the meat's just a little bit more firm, perhaps. I hope I can get another big one like that was on that last one. You don't miss too many because usually they have themselves caught by then, but that's another reason for using braided line. Braided line has no stretch to it whatsoever. Therefore, the fish usually hook themselves. Because if you're using something like monofilament, that stretch is going to allow that fish to escape. Fluorocarbon's kind of in between, but for this method right here, for white bass fishing and trolling, I always go with braided line. Well, I hope you learned a few tips today that you can now take out to your local waters. Coming up with new ways to fish old styles is something I love doing and sharing. Until next time, thanks for watching. Oh, yeah. Come here, buddy.